Hi, it's Ajipuchi, and today I'll make a track with Medusa. Medusa is a paraphonic hybrid synthesizer with three analog and three digital oscillators and an 8x8 pad matrix called the grid, which can be used as a sequencer with parameter locks, patch memory bank or interface for expressive play. Today I want to record a song that I sketched out a while ago and I'll make all sounds with Medusa from scratch, except the drums. I will use Ableton Live to record, mix and arrange everything. Keep in mind Medusa is a pretty deep synthesizer and I'm fairly new to it, so don't expect any next level sound design wizardry just yet. Uh, I will probably just scratch the surface in this first video. But I do plan to use it in more videos, so keep an eye out on the channel. The first sound I'll make is a sort of a pluck sound. I'm gonna stay in monophonic mode and I'm gonna add a second analog oscillator. Transpose it one octave up. And now I will assign envelope one to oscillator one mix. Let's dial in a very plucky envelope. And envelope two to oscillator two mix. Dial in a pretty much similar envelope, very short and snappy. And I'm gonna add a third oscillator. Hit digital, go for the wavetables and select the wavetable. I'm gonna assign envelope three to oscillator one. Now add a tiny little bit of glide. Dial in an envelope for the filter. Let's record the main theme. And I also want to record a second part, like a thinned out version of the theme. Let me just tweak these sounds a little bit. Let's start with Portal by Output. Then I want to add a reverb. I'm going with Altiverb. Mm, let's go with Sound Toys, Echo Boy. The plug I just recorded sounds slightly different in the next segment of the video. The reason being that I had to reshoot a part of this because I accidentally deleted some files. But I did my best to um, recreate the sound as closely as possible, so I don't think it really matters. Next I want to create a pad sound of sorts. Um, I'm imagining something metallic and rusty sounding. Let's put on sync 2. Yeah. Also it works better in square. We should try frequency modulation. Could help us in our task of creating a metallic pad sound. Let's add a digital oscillator. Let's try something with the filter. Maybe an LFO on the wavetable knob. If I hold this and... Yeah. I think now it's already assigned, isn't it? Let's assign the second LFO to Pulse Width. This needs a huge hoover. Maybe we'll go with Eventide Black Hole. That's a huge one. Now 
And let's see how the pad sound works with what we have already. And now move on to the bass. A square wave. A little bit of release on the amp, a little bit of release on the filter. Put it to a four pole, add some resonance. Not too much though. Dial in a little envelope. Glide. I want to add a second oscillator, but uh, I'm going with the digital one. I'm going to set that to square. Fine tune it. To get this wider kind of drifting sound. Tweak the filter. So let's try it. save it. I just loaded the pattern again instead of saving the sound. So the sound is gone. I have to do it all again. Damn. Now I could try to use the grid feature. I'm hitting rec and the second pad. Raise the cutoff and uh, hit rec again. It, it, it's it's like a snapshot. Whoa. Let's play around with this. So this is cool for the intro. Let's alter this one. Because clearly that's too much. It's a too open filter. Okay, save this one. Let's try a third one. Like this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So maybe a tiny little bit of reverb. The sound needs a bit more bite. Let's try Decapitator. A micro shift. Okay. Now I want to make a e-piano type of sound. I'm switching to P1 polyphonic mode one. This allows me to play up to three notes simultaneously and it will pair the oscillators one and one of the analog and digital section, two, two, three, and three. So I can have up to three notes, play chord, and each note can consist of two oscillators. Let's start with the analog oscillators and I'm gonna set them to square wave. Up one octave. Now I'm gonna add the digital oscillators, set them to sawtooth, down one octave. Gonna use a two pole filter. Use a filter envelope. Before I fine tune it, I'm gonna just chord sequence there. Refine the sound a bit. I'm gonna go with Memory Brigade by Arturia this time. A little tape delay, delay tape to a one by Arturia. I want to 
want to add a second layer of chords. I'm gonna go to polyphonic mode two again, raise the volume of all three analog oscillators. I'll set them to sawtooth, two pole filter, and adding the digital oscillators. And this time I'm gonna check out some of the wavetables. Let's go with God Phaser. Let's also try a little Spring 636. Nice Gramkin emulation. Let's try some sidechain compression on the chords. Let's make some strings. Uh, I'm gonna stay in monophonic mode because I only want to play one note. I'm using two oscillators, one and two. I'm gonna set them to square wave. I'm gonna fine tune a little bit to beat the frequencies. Increase the attack at the release. So it's more like a string quality. Then the filter, let's see. Maybe we're gonna go with uh, two pole. see if it matches the rest. Let's add some chorus as well. I think this one could work well with the God Phaser. I had to take a little break because I had some gardeners outside with uh, insanely loud leaf blowers so I couldn't record anything. But I used the time to tweak some of the sounds and uh, I'm gonna show you what I did in detail. I added beat repeat on one of the percussion tracks to add some micro fills. I duplicated the bass to a third track and I run it through Punish by Heaviosity to add some saturation and distortion. And combined with the regular bass and the sub bass, it sounds like this. It cuts better through the mix. I duplicated the pluck to a second track and I run the duplicate through grain delay, uh, pretty much just to pitch it up an octave. It adds a bit more sparkle to it. And then I group these two and run them through VC76. And then I run the whole thing through an instance of compressor and I have some sidechain compression. It adds to the whole energy of this track, this oompa, oompa, oompa thing that's going on. I just root the audio from the original plug into this separate track and I run it through Valhalla Shimmer. That sounds like this. Just a little bit sugar. I have most of the building blocks that I need for the song. I have created a basic structure. Um, let's take a listen together.
that was my first uh, song with Medusa. As I said in the intro, it's pretty deep. Um, I just scratched the surface uh, for now, but I will keep using it to dig deeper and see where it gets me. Uh, if you like the song, you can download it from my Patreon. And as always, my patrons get the stems as well, so you can make your own remix. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.